That's away for four. Short boundaries on the sides at Lords. That'll be a spot of frustration for Malali. Letting Kalu off the hook. And a good shot when you're struggling to come in and play a natural game. A good square drive. Should have been put away and he did it well. That'll beat mid on. This is a long chase for Fairbrother. It's going to race away even though it's going up the hill. It reaches the boundary. England have to be careful here. Four frontline bowlers. They'll want to get another Sri Lankan wicket or two before they have to turn to the likes of uh, Hollyoak and Flintoff. I'm not so sure uh, Graham Hick will be used uh, today as a bowler. That's a wonderful stroke. Controlled on drive, just wide of mid on. That's beaten mid off this time. And that will run away for a boundary as well. So an expensive end to Mark Elam's third over. He's gone for nine, it's 81 for five. Four more. Malali suffering this time. I think that's the best stroke of the inning so far. He's on drive and off drive up here one. And then Malali was just a bit of width. It's straight through the line. Beautifully played straight. Look at that. Goff charging round the uh, long leg boundary. Cuts it off. In his uh, brief career, Flintoff has been very expensive. This cover for Flintoff out on the offside. But not there. This is a heap of rubbish from Andrew Flintoff. The score moves on to 99 for five. Very good strike. It was a long hop, he hit it all the way along the carpet. This race to 25 with some beautiful straight play under pressure. You can't bowl long hops at that pace to class batsman. That's four. Halawatana picks up the line and length so quickly. It's a way to the boundary in a flash. Six boundaries already, and most of them on the ground. Normally, he does hit a lot of balls in the air, but that was a beautiful stroke. It was just a fraction short from Goff. And the ball coming onto the bat, and he hit that beautifully. Well balanced. Not a lot of footwork. He literally stands and delivers. This is a superb strike. It's uh, edged away. Malali uh, is struggling to cut it off, but he's done well. Very soft down there, the outfield, a lot of uh, rain in London over the last uh, couple of days. 111 for five. That's beaten Malali this time. Firmly pushed down the ground towards the pavilion. Three more runs. That's the uh, 50 partnership between Ranatunga and Kalavataranga. Didn't take very long either. 50 partnership in uh, 46 deliveries. Great shot. Wide of uh, the man on the cover boundary. It's 120 for five. It's wide, isn't it? The delivery is wide and it allows. You can see he's actually ends up taking his bottom hand off the uh, bat there. Lofted straight down the ground. Pitching just short of the green. Not a full club on that end. No, a lot of backspin as well. Didn't quite get hold of it, did he? Came down, he left the mid off and mid on in. Just accepts the challenge. Now, oh, will he do it again? And he's going to get his 50 now. Just pushed on the onside. Well played indeed. 
Kelvin Tyrone now on to 50 from 52 deliveries. Exciting stuff it's been too. Oh, so close. Inside edge, close to the stumps. With two runs. wicket there for uh, Alan Mullally and England as so often happens they break the partnership and then another wicket follows quickly once again you would have to say that this was a pretty ordinary shot the Sri Lankans had been fencing outside the off stump to Mullally you saw Arvinda De Silva getting out trying to poke at a delivery outside the off stump this one once again climbing up just a little bit more and look at that shot so far away from the body Simple catch there to Alex Stewart. That's a big blow because Kalu Vithana was really batting well. Alan Mulali has done the job and business again for England. Sri Lanka 155 for 7.